Before we get into this video, I want to thank everybody for the likes and my new subscribers. I thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about social media. Now, social media over the years, especially in my experience, has become really toxic. And I wanted to talk about ways that I've dealt with it and many methods I use to really, you know, weed myself off of social media, give my break a, give myself a break from social media so it doesn't feel so toxic and I don't feel so trapped in. You know, social media can be enjoyable, but it's what you seek out, is what you wanna, you know, what you give social media is what it gives you. Too much of anything is bad for you. So I'm gonna be talking about how my experience and how I use social media for enjoyment, but I also take a break from it every now and then so I don't feel so consumed by it. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, I'm laying on my Aladdin blanket I got from the Aladdin Broadway show. When I went to go see it, I really recommend it. That show is amazing. Now let's continue. A lot of people, a lot of people really look up to social media and they follow these celebrities and these, you know, Instagram models and all these different rappers and celebrities. And it's like they feel so bad, like, oh, that's that could be the life I'm that's that's the life I want to live. Or oh, couple goals, money goals, business goals, and that's true. You know, because seven times out of ten, people are not going to broadcast their failures. Who would do that, you know? But from for me, it's just like, don't take that to heart, you know? Don't follow, don't try to base your life off of other people's lives. What's meant for you is what's meant for you. And that's it. Don't try to be like, oh, this person just opened up a business. This person just got their own house. This person just got a new car. Don't every time you see a post, oh, this person just graduated and you're still in college, you got another year. Like, don't take that to heart. When your time is your time. When it's your time, it's your time. What is meant for you is meant for you. And that's it. You know, a lot of people look up to social media and they feel bad about themselves and they want to scrutinize their self and, you know, downplay their own life and their success and their goals and their achievements that they already accomplished. Because it's not like this person that they just saw on Instagram. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Really think back. Look at maximize your accomplishments. Go back to your Instagram feed, your Facebook feed, your Snapchat, or whatever, and look at, oh, I really look at look at look through the years. Look at all the things you did. Look at all the fun you had. Don't try to base your life off of other people's lives. Because that's where a lot of people go wrong. You know, I see a lot of people it's just in general, like being like, oh, this is the life I want to live. Oh, I'm so miserable. And, you know, it's been many times when you scroll on Instagram and you see something, a certain post just hits you. And you'd be like, damn, I really wish that was me. But it could be you. You know, you just got to work towards it. Just like that person did. And to be honest, sometimes everything is not handed to you. Some people get in a position where they're able to you know, get these promotions, get these sponsorships, you know, work your way up, just like me. I started my YouTube channel a month ago, and now I'm working myself up. I'm building my channel. I'm really putting in that time and effort into making my channel a success. Like I said before, in my other video, I'm going to post the link down below. You know, really go for your goals, and you could be one of those people that's posting a success story on Instagram. And another thing, you don't always have to broadcast your successes either. You know, a lot of people, every time they do something, they want to run it, post it on Instagram. Sometimes, you know, move in silence. You know, show your success in silence. And I saw a tweet the other day where it was like, you know, you don't always got to broadcast every little success. You know, a lot of people, hey, and that's not, if you do something good, great, if you do something grand, you want to show people what it's like. A lot of people, they like to showboat and show off and like, Look what I just did. Like, oh, oh this is going to really get them. You want to celebrate yourself? Do it. Post it. You know, you want to get a lot of comments and likes and congratulations, congratulations. But don't take that to the head. No, don't hype yourself up like that to where you feel like you're above everybody. And, you know, don't do that. You know, take that success, reap in it, 
congratulate yourself. Live in the moment. Don't try to use that as a way of, you know, to blow your own head up, you know, because that's, that leads to a lot of people's downfall. Another thing I want to talk about is social media is full of trolls. We all know that. Any website, any social media app is full of trolls. Over the years, I have to learn to really ignore them, block them, report them, move on with my life, you know. It's been, you know, especially being a fan, you know, y'all you, know I'm a Leah fan. I'm a Michael Jackson fan, if you didn't know. I mean, look at my profile picture. <laughs> I'm a Michael Jackson fan also. And mind you, I started my page 10 years ago, 2009. And it's like, y'all know where all this stuff from Michael Jackson. Y'all already know. I don't even got to explain that. You really, you know, getting YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, all these different websites. You really get into all these different arguments and you know you start you start talking back and forth with somebody six o'clock at night 11 30 at night y'all still going back and forth it's like no i don't got time for it was some points where it would be some points where i would be on twitter instagram and youtube arguing with people going back and forth with people and i don't know something in my mind clicked like maybe two three years ago something clicked in me and i was just like I was like, fuck these people. Like, why am I going back and forth with them? Back and forth, back and forth, back. Obviously, their opinion is different from mine. They're troll. They're, they're trying to make people mad, and I'm giving them what they want. Don't give people what they want. These trolls, they live, they feed off negativity. They feed off people, you know, you mentioning them is the most attention they get all day. So when they get that notification email, blah, 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 reply to you. It's like, yes, I got, I got one. I caught one. I trapped one. You know, it's like trapping a rat on a mouse trap. Like, oh, I got one. So they, they, they feed off of you. That's making them, that's building them up. Don't give people, don't give the trolls that. Nowadays, on Twitter, Instagram, whatever, YouTube, I get a comment that's like out the way or, you know, on some other. Sh I'm like, report, spam, block. I be reporting them for hate speech, harassment, all type of shit. I be reporting them for all type of stuff. And then it's just, boop, mute it, move on. It's more, you, you know, feed off the positivity you get. Don't let social media become so toxic. Really look into the positivity of it. You know social media can be hilarious, fun. That's why a lot of people be in their phones all day. And I gotta admit, that's, I'm one of those people. You know, the memes, the jokes, the laughs. You get to uh, connect with a lot of different people from around the world, around the state, around the country, or whatever. And y'all get to, you know, really enjoy each other's online company. And yeah, you get this, you know, you get to connect with a lot of people that have the same interests as you. There's many positives of social media, but sometimes the negativity might seem to outweigh it. There's many ways to fight that. Another, uh, something I practice is for about maybe two three days i don't go on twitter i don't go on youtube no let me stop <laughs> let me stop because youtube is different from twitter and instagram because youtube you can watch any type of videos you know it'd be, it'd be days i'd be watching music videos all day so let me not i don't go on twitter or instagram because twitter and instagram to me are like the most toxic websites where it's like, you know, like I said before, with people looking at different pictures and wishing they were somebody else. And, you know, just the comments and Twitter, come on, like, yeah, Twitter is crazy. Twitter is full of trolls. Just like YouTube and stuff. But Twitter is like, Twitter got the funniness and the memes and all that, but it's a dark side of Twitter. If you don't know what it is, try to stay away from it. I've been there. Yeah, it's not, no. Like I said, Try to take a break from social media every once in a while so you don't feel so overconsumed with it. You know, live your life. You know, time is limited. You, tomorrow's not promised. Live your life. Be with the people in real life. Connect with people in real life. You know, don't always have your head in your phone. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Talk to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever. You know, play with your dog. Play with your fish. Play with your parakeet. Whatever. You know, live a life. Don't always stay consumed on social media. And, you know, live each day to the fullest. That's my moniker on my social medias. 
Live each day to the fullest. Enjoy social media for what it is, but don't let it get the best of you. Don't let it control your life. Don't let it dictate your life. Don't let it make your life. Have social media as a pastime, something fun that you do on the side or that you do when you're bored. You know what I'm saying? And live each day to the fullest. It's been a real quick impromptu video. I just had these thoughts in my mind. I just wanted to share it with people. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. What are your thoughts about social media? Have you ever had, you know, you ever felt social media being toxic? What did you do to deal with it? Let's talk about it in the comments below. And let's share ways to make social media less toxic, you know? Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.